What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World, and we're back again for another year of Madden, Madden 19, and we're going to be discussing how to intercept any pass in Madden 19. Now, over the years, I've started doing this type of video um, in Madden 25, and um, it really started to, you know, make people understand more or less the concepts of the game. So, first of all, if you're a new, uh, you know, a new player to Madden, I'm going to just let you guys see my settings. All right. So, pretty much, what's going on with the settings is this: this year, you don't really need a lot of um, computer assistance, they've taken away from it. I've always played on all Madden and the game style since they've had competitive, whatever like that. But I used to keep like the, um, which one, the ball hawk on and stuff like that. The auto strafe on, uh, based on some of the plays that I've been able to get off, uh, in practice mode. I don't think you need any of that anymore. It's like back to, you know, 25 and 15 days. So let's take away the 16 and 17, 18. You probably needed it a little bit because of the way that the game would, you know, the way they would react to the way the ball was thrown. Sometimes they would slide your play off the way, but for the most part, they're pretty good from what I've seen thus far. All right, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to jump into um, some Hail Mary, just to, just for you guys to get a sense of it, all right? Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my defense that I was running in uh, Madden 18 because just because, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to keep it going like that, and we're going to go to Hail Mary, and we, we're playing against the Tom Brady, all right? So you already know Tom Brady's a goonie. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to turn those soft squats into cloud flats, okay, by simply pressing down on the right stick and up on the right stick. All right, so it's global, and we're going to be user and Anthony Barr right here. We're going to be sitting right there and waiting for Tom Brady to do what he has to do. So we're going to go ahead and let him hike the ball now. Okay, so after he hikes the ball, we're going to take away the middle of the field. When he throws it, we're clicking on, we're holding the strafe button, which is the L2, and we're holding triangle. Now, if you take a look at what just happened, you can see it looks like the guy is moving, you know, very, very fast. It looks as if he's moving, you know, when I click on him, that he's like, you know, immediately sliding around, but he's not. He immediately stops where I want him to stop. It just looks that way because of the way the players are all on him, but he's already looking at the ball. He sees it before everybody else sees it, okay? So that, that's huge right there that he's able to see it like that, and he can just go up and grab that thing. You know what I'm saying? right in between both of them because he's able to see the ball because you're strafing. Very important that you guys strafe because if you don't strafe this year, it's going to hurt you a lot more. Now, you may notice that, you know, whatever. Is that guy's arm through his body? It doesn't matter about that, bro. It looks like the guy's arm is through his face, but I'm not sure what's going on right there. We don't need to worry about all that, bro. Like, this is not the time nor the place for that. But just because his hand is through his back, that doesn't mean anything. What we're going to do is this. We're going to go ahead and we're going to show you. You see the way that he was successfully able to stop on the dime and catch that? That's what you're looking for, okay? When a guy is lobbing the ball in the air and he's doing uh, different things like that, you want to make sure that you have position with the ball. That's the whole situation of that play. So pretty much what you're going to do is the same exact thing. We're going to set it up the same way, and we're going to go ahead and see what we can do about it once Tom hikes the ball okay so we're taking away the middle of the field with bar he's gonna probably throw it all right to the other side so you click on hold l2 now you're doing one arm picks all right now look if you notice the reason that that guy got a spec pack, uh, a spec catch animation um with that interception oh my goodness oh they, they took it away from us we can't get it did they take it okay we still have the instant replay all right so look this is what's happening marvin uh what was that that's uh that's harrison right yeah harrison smith Harrison Smith is a better uh, defender than the other guy, okay? So he's able to do this because of his higher, his higher IQ of catching the ball with awareness and his spec catch. So that's going to come into play in Ultimate Team and also if you play Regs, okay? The higher their spec catch and their awareness, it looks like you're going to be able to get a, a lot better animation, all right? So keep that in mind before you guys go ahead and start doing these things, and uh, picking your teams for regs or whatever, because I know a lot of you guys are going to be involved in tournaments and stuff like that. So you're just trying to get your name. Uh, I mean, well, trying to get some information on how the game has been changed from the past year. You can clearly see that he's going to get that animation because he's Harrison Smith. There is no other reason why. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go back into it again. Make sure you guys are understanding. We're not going to blitz this time. We're going to just go back to over and we're going to pick a regular cover two now. No blitz off the edge. Nothing going on. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go back to um, to the Hail Mary. Because that's what it's all about right now, just being able to maneuver your players. So what I'm doing right there is that that's triangle and to the right on the analog stick, that's the baseline. 
that's how you see my guys do that. And like I said, the global turn those uh, guys into cloud flats is to press triangle or Y if you're on the Xbox, down on the right stick, up on the right stick. That gives you the global cloud flats, all right? Now you're just going to sit in the middle right here, and you're going to wait for Tom Brady to go ahead and do what he has to do. All right? So remember, you're taking away the middle of the field. Okay, that's what you're supposed to do. Harrison Smith, again, right there, immediately. The, you have to understand right now, they've either been listening to a lot of the things that people have been saying or they've actually gone back to some of their old roots. If you look at how fast I'm able to strafe up right there and go ahead and make that play, that's a lot different than what it was last year. So that's something that we have to focus on this year uh, going forward. Harrison Smith is able to drop on the dime. There's no sliding going on, no sliding at all. This is pure stop and go, stop and go interception right here. Okay, that's very, very huge for what we're looking for with Madden come. You know, you know, starting off the year of Madden 19, you want to make sure we're not seeing similar things from 18. And that's huge for me because even with my video for how to intercept any pass with uh, Madden 18, you, would, you could still see that there was a little bit of, um, you know, sliding side to side situations going on. That's no longer the case right here. So that's very huge. Um, if you're looking, you know, to be able to play better D. Now, if we get out of that, out of Hail Mary, and just put uh, Tom Brady in just a general, um, you know, passing situation and try to utilize Barr. The reason I utilize Barr is simply because his height, number one, and, um, you know, he's usually faster to start the year off, okay? So let's just try to get a play where everybody is going out on routes, and then we're going to see what we can do with it. So let's go to something like... Um, we're going to go, what do we have? Okay, that guy's doing an out route, and he's doing an in route. That's like too much stuff going on. So I don't want to make it so that, you know, Tom Brady, they're going to have an extra smart. Dude went to Harvard and Yale twice and then came back, and he's ready to go. So what we're going to do, we're going to go, we already did the global uh, triangle or Y down on the right stick, up on the right stick to turn him into cloud flats. Now we're going to wait, and we're going to just watch. This is like general defenses that we're going to be playing. So we're watching that side. Okay, he goes for it there. We, click, we, we quickly click on. And attack the ball right there. Because he's it's Tom Brady. They're going to make him extra smart. So let's bring Sendejo down a little bit. And just be ready to go right now as we start to play. And just watch the corners react. Remember, Xavier, Xavier Rhodes is a better corner. So Tom is probably not going to look to him first. And you see that we're taking away everything. Now, the slot guy is wide open. Because you got to give away something. But we're not really worried about that right now. We're just trying to make Tom make a play. That's all we're trying to do. We know he's the GOAT. You know, so we're not going to argue that. And the computer's going to make him, because of his awareness, make a better read. But your job is to take away the middle of the field. So that's what you're doing. Okay, that, that's immediate. That's all your concern is, is to make sure that the middle of the field is gone. Now, obviously, the better your corners, the better this is going to work. Xavier Rhodes is a good corner. So he's going to completely take away that side of the field. Okay? So if Tom is looking that way, he probably shouldn't. And then you have to control the middle of the field. So your, your user control has to be able to make plays. Right there, he got off a little bit off the side, but it doesn't matter because the safety is there. You bring him down a little bit, and you're watching the play. If he tries to go deep, that's a risk we got to take because right now we're just trying to see if Tom is going to make a throw so we can pick it. All right? So globally, watch the field. Watch the Okay, so right there. Oh, oh, okay, so he didn't even go after that. Tom just threw the ball up. The, the receiver wasn't even ready for the action. Okay, because dudes are screaming out here. Okay, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Wh whatever it is, bro, it is what it is. But Tom, okay, let me bring him down a little bit. I'm going to let him stay there down, and I'm going to let him do it again. And then remember, in the middle, you're strafing, and you're monitoring the middle of the field. So when they hike the ball, you're strafing. You're looking down. Oh, okay, right there? And then he just going to dot me right there, though? Right, right, right as I'm giving you a tutorial, I'm going to get dotted by Tom Brady. It's a gain of two yards, not a big deal, but you want to be there. Okay, so you're immediately strafing because, like I said, from what it seems right now, the players are stopping on the dime, all right? So regardless of the patches that happen, okay, okay, he, okay, he just hit stick out of nowhere, bro. And you, are you going to dot me and just just, oh, you're not going to tackle him. Then you're going to dive to the left, okay? So obviously, you don't want to really give up that seam, but I'm watching the in route. So that's just a gamble that I'm willing to take just to give you an idea of what's going on, all right? And that's why I usually use Hail Mary to just give you guys the example. Because Tom Brady, that's why I like playing against them. They got to make the GOAT do whatever. He got to do GOAT things. So I'm watching the middle. Okay, he's going to go right there and just dot me. Oh, oh, do an aggressive catch. Okay, and then you're going to catch it too. All right, so hold on. Wait a minute. Who's that guy on the other side right there? Who's that guy? Because that guy is trash. Hold on, who is he? Oh, that's Trey Waynes. All right, he's garbage. All right, so that's good. Public announcement. Trey Waynes is trash. But don't worry about it. That's not what this is about. This is about learning how to intercept any pass. So let's keep it moving. All right? 
you're maintaining that side. Tom Brady's making throws. He doesn't have good bump coverage. Pick it, pick it. You're gonna be, you're gonna have to be able to click on very, very quickly. I do love the responsiveness of the way that the players are doing what they're supposed to do. I love that because just like when I just clicked on right there, I'm able to come in there. Guys, make sure that you're clicking on this here. It's very, very important that you do. All right, just I just want to make sure I point that out. I'm gonna be giving you guys a lot more tutorials, but I want you to make sure. Oh, okay. Oh, dot. Hit stick them then. Hit stick them in the throat. All right, whatever. It is what it is. Quick passes are gonna be quick passes. We're not really worried about that. Okay, the whole objective is what I'm showing you guys right now is that it's a lot easier to intercept the ball than it was in the previous years. Uh, I haven't been into any live gameplays to give you guys feedback on the bad timing drop user pick yet. See right there, you see that? You, you guys see that, right? That's a click on, and when I click on, I'm immediately pressing triangle. All right, we're not holding it because we don't want to go through the bad timing user pick. So I'm immediately clicking on and getting instant heat, bro. Instant, instant. You see that? That right there is showing you that the responsiveness, the real player motion from Madden 19 is really in the game. He's jumping on it, and the ball is right away. So, guys, get used to clicking on. Circle or B if you're on the Xbox One, all right? Make sure you're clicking on because that creates a real huge play. And, obviously, Anthony Barr is going to be there to clean it up. That, it is what it is right there. That's just, that's just the situation. It's Anthony Barr. What do you want from the guy? You know what I'm saying? He's just going to be there to pick the ball off. So, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. Strafing is very, very huge. We're going to go back to Hail Mary once again before I end the video because a lot of you guys really have issues with strafing. You've got to get used to holding the L2 button. It is very important, especially this year. And I'm loving this real player motion. Dudes are responding to what I want them to do. That is excellent. Listen, I can't wait to get started in head-to-head -head games, man. All right, so here we go right here. We're going to do it again. This is reliant upon your safeties. That's why I'm running the cover two. We're still covering the middle, but still, right there, responsive, right there. We're there, all right? So it's L2, you're strafing up. And remember, we have all of the assists off. There is no computer assistance needed. EA is making it more free for all right now, which I love. They're giving more defensive control to the user. And look at what's happening. Already, it's a beautiful thing, okay? It's unbelievable the way that these guys are stopping on the dime and making those plays, Okay, so that's pretty much how you're going to do it. L2, position yourself with the left stick, you know, to make sure that you're right in the right spot. Press the triangle button. You don't have to hold it. You can once the ball is in the air. But just make sure you're not holding it before the play is started. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. Make sure that you go ahead, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we're going to have a lot more things coming. You guys already know what it is with Mutt. We're going to be giving, you know, tutorials, maybe some long shots, some other information that you guys are going to want to need. And uh, I'm going to get it out there to you guys as soon as possible. Thank you guys for watching. Welcome to G Myers World if you're new. One love.